Hi there, so many of you have messaged me that you are having issues playing music on Google Slides. Now I want to go over something real quick that's super important. If you are having issues with your audio not playing for others when you either publish your Google Slides to the web for everyone to view or you personally share your Google Slides link with a fellow colleague or student and they need and they keep receiving the message they need permission to listen to the audio I'm here to help. It's a simple step to fix this audio problem that takes less than one minute. So right now, I need to tell you this important reason why your music is not playing for others. It is because you have the audio file inserted into your Google Slides on restricted mode. And you need to manually have the audio file in a mode where anyone or a select personal group of people can hear the audio. So all you need to do is go to Google Drive. Find your audio or upload your audio if you haven't already done so. Once you have your audio in Google's Drive, you will right click your audio, then click the button share with the plus sign, scroll down and click the button change link. Once you click change link, you'll have to click the arrow to go down to share to anyone with the link or you may share it with your school domain. So right now I have it at my Tutor Academy Charter School domain, but if I would like to share it with the public, then I would scroll down and click anyone with the link can view. So anyone on the internet with this link can view. They are a viewer. They cannot comment or edit. They cannot change anything. They can only view the audio. Once I click that, done. And now your audio link is shared for others to hear. And that's it. Now, you'll have to individually do that to all the audio. So you have to go get share, change it to at anyone at your school can link, or change it to anyone with the link on the internet can, can view. So you'll have, to, you'll have to individually, manually do that for all the audios that you include into your audio slides. So currently, I have a lot of audios that I have to individually make public for everyone to hear. And once I do that, anyone who has the link can hear the audio. So that's it. It's a simple fix. I hope this helps. If it did, please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications for more helpful tips. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye.